This is a demo video to show you a little bit about the video understanding tech and product that 12 Labs is building. 12 Labs builds foundation models for multimodal video understanding. Our large model can enable different downstream tasks, such as semantic video search, that would allow a user to use natural language queries to find any moment within their large video archives. Classification would allow a user to classify all of their videos according to taxonomies and categories that they define in natural language on the fly, without having to train a classifier. Generate allows a user to generate rich summaries and descriptions of what's happening inside video. So it produces not only summaries, but chapters and highlights that can be customized through prompts. And of course we have our embeddings. Our model would translate video context into embeddings. And these embeddings are what enable all of the downstream tasks that I mentioned. But we'll also be launching an endpoint to give users direct access to the embeddings so that they would be able to power recommendation engines or their own search algorithms based on the content of the video. What you're looking at here is our API playground, which is built entirely on top of our APIs. And the way that it works is a user can index their videos. So run their videos by our AI, and our model would create embeddings that contains the context of their video. For the purpose of this demo that I'm sharing with you, I brought in some tutorial videos from HubSpot's YouTube channel, totaling about three hours. I'll go over some search queries and scenarios that you'd be able to do with this index. I'll start simple and do searches on single word queries to find things like cat. Here I am on the web page, and I can see I can speak with an AI-powered chatbot. And as you can see, it's not only finding the video that contains a cat, but the precise start and end timestamps that contain a cat. Let's do one more single word query like explained. And we're seeing different instances of people explaining concepts. ERP is an enterprise resource planning system, and it's a one-stop shop for business operations. And if you have operations hub professional or above, you get additional power and flexibility inside of your workflows. Back over to templates, because if you go down to research and summaries, you can also search for logos. Let's try LinkedIn. Things like remember to connect on LinkedIn or remember to reach out with a phone call. And there you go. Now, let's get really specific. What about automating LinkedIn connection requests. And here we have... Next, we're going to go ahead and click the plus button and give a reminder to connect on LinkedIn with the contact. I simply click add. The relevant section of a related tutorial. So the more detail you can add to describe exactly what it is you're looking for, the more precise you will get with your results. I'll go through some queries to just show you how our model can generalize and understand different contexts and topics. Firstly, you can search for visuals. Let's try a man with a pink shirt and glasses. Outlook or Office 365, your reps can craft highly personalized sales emails in no time. Or children paintings in the background. I have lots of other free tools that are actually really relevant to your website. But with HubSpot's videos being more tutorial based, searching in the form of questions would be more helpful and effective, right? Well, who says we can't do that? You could ask things like, do the people that fill in my form get added to my CRM? I always want to create a contact for new email addresses. So this means that anyone who fills out the form will be listed in my CRM. Or what does an air call integration do? Air call is a powerful phone solution that enables customer facing teams to streamline both inbound and outbound call workflows and track performance. How can a sales team Use CRM for team building. You can also use commerce data in your CRM to generate a little friendly competition among your sales reps. You can motivate your team by creating a leaderboard to show which reps have generated the most MRR, or you can let reps see how much commission they've generated in real time. We can also try how-tos, such as 
How to schedule a meeting in the workspace. One of my favorite features, being able to schedule a meeting right from the workspace. You ever get stuck with a contact where you can't actually schedule it for the account executive's calendar? Now, in professional, I can actually set up a rep rotation and keep the momentum going. Or how to create a, a workflow for a customer milestone celebration. Then we're going to delay for 365 days to celebrate one year. So this is what that ends up looking like. And then when customers reach that milestone with you, they get a nice thank you. We could also add conversation understanding. I remember we have some videos that encourage you to use CRM. So let's try encouraging to move from the spreadsheets to CRM. Getting your team off of spreadsheets and onto CRM is a huge first step, but it is only the first step. If you listen to the speaker, he doesn't actually say the typed in query word for word, but this would be an implied context. So, leveraging both understanding of the query and understanding of the dialogue, you'd be able to find contextually similar conversations. This time, let's try asking... What are the components of a customer relationship manager system? Built on top of this core CRM functionality are different hubs for each of your team. So we can know that the CRM is consisted of marketing, service, and sales. And let's say that you just want to find this very specific scene, the very graph here. Then we can go back to the visual search and describe Circular graph illustrating CRM. Built on top of this core CRM functionality are different hubs for And there we go. The graph from earlier. We can also search for something very abstract. I'll type in something helpful. And let's see what the model gives us. So what I'll do is I'm going to hit copy. And I'm going to go back over to templates. Because if you go down to research and summaries, you're going to see that there are some very powerful tools here. It shows us something that YouTubers could use. Although the query itself was quite abstract and very contextual, our model captures what it means to be helpful. That was it for search. Now let's take a look at Generate. With our newly launched Pegasus One model in beta, you can generate text from raw video without relying on ASR. The text generated from the video isn't just based on video transcript, like previously existing models, but takes in the visual cues in to really understand what's going on in the video. The ability to combine both visual and audio together across a contextual landscape allows Pegasus, our video to text model, to produce not only summaries, but chapters and highlights that can be customized through prompts, as you can see from this interface here on our playground. So let's try generating a summary from one of the videos. We could try this video, what is HubSpot's CRM introduction? Although we can customize our prompts here, we'll first hit on generate to see what it gives us. So we get a generalistic summary of the entire video with some of the visual descriptive features like the video begins with a man in a blue shirt and glasses discussing. And basically what's important, the content of the video. Then it generates highlights for us. So you can check out, this video demonstrates how to use the CRM functionalities. And you can drag and drop them as they move from one stage to the next. And these contacts, companies, deals, and tickets will be used by all of your team. And it also generates chapters for us. Now, what if you want a summary to be in a very specific format? Well, we can do that too. But let's try making the summary into a poem. And there we go, we have a generated poem that summarizes the video. We could also try making it into bullet points. We have a section called My Own Prompt here, so we could ask Summarize the video into bullet points and give me some practice 
quiz questions. Just for revision. And there we go. We have a bullet pointed list that summarizes the video and also some questions that can test our knowledge based on what we've watched from the video. So honestly, you can go creative with your own prompts. And as for the templates, well, let's try for another video. Let's try YouTubers, stop writing titles and descriptions. Now we can try making the highlights into three different sections and generate And you can adjust the length of the summaries too. So it, for instance, you could say, summarize the video into three sentences, focusing on the important concepts. And let's see what it gives us. So the model successfully summarized the video into three sentences. Also, it's given us highlights that divides it into three sections. And also, we have a somewhat detailed chapter list. Let's see if it's generated the chapters well. Well, apparently Devon demonstrates how to customize the AI generated summary and description. Go ahead and paste in this summary. So now that that's in here, we'll hit send and we'll wait and see what chat spot comes up with. So yeah, you can see that the chapters have divided the video up into important sections and describes what each section contains. Hopefully this was helpful context and with you being a key player in the industry, we're really excited to learn how you think about video understanding. Talk soon. Thanks for watching.